Hey, set your mind right now. Nothing before this matters. We came here with everything still on the line. Everything you wanted. Everything you wanted in the offseason is still out in front of you. What would you give for that moment right now? Let's go, man. Let's go. Yo, what is good Raider Nation? It's your boy Raider Alex. I am back with another video. In this video guys, I'm going to be talking about free agency once again. This is going to be a different position though. This is going to be a position that I think that, you know, in free agency we really need to address because I don't want to go into the draft, you know, without this position, you know, being filled. And that's going to be the right tackle position. Now we all know, you know, throughout the whole season we were struggling at right tackle. You know, we drafted Alex Otherwood to be the right tackle, but he didn't really pan out. You know, we moved him back to guard. He looked a lot better, you know, at right guard, but, you know, we, we had to put Brandon Parker out there. And Brandon Parker, I mean, he's just, I mean, he at times he's really just a liability, man. So I just, I feel like if we can shore up that right tackle position in free agency, you know, this O-line is just going to, it'll improve tremendously. Uh, when it comes to the right tackle position, I don't feel like we need like a Pro Bowl right tackle. We just need a veteran who's, you know, solid, who can go in there, you know, from day one and be able to produce, man. And that's why I don't want to go into the draft without a right tackle being filled because the thing is, man, most of these rookies, bro, they take a year or two to develop, man. And I, I feel like this offense doesn't have a year or two to wait on a right tackle to develop, man. We're, we're pretty damn close, especially if we can get, you know, uh, another weapon out wide. So, yeah, guys. We're going to be focusing on the free agency market um, for this position, like I said. Now, when looking at the available free agents, you know, at the right tackle position, I came up with three names that I think the Raiders should definitely consider in signing. And let's let's jump right into it, man. The first name that I came up with is Alex Kappa. He plays you know, on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And yeah, guys, this guy, in a nutshell, out of all these three guys, I think this guy's going to be, he'll probably be the best guy. He's probably got the most potential. But that doesn't necessarily mean he might be the best option for our team just because, I mean, he's on his rookie contract and I could I could definitely see this guy, you know, getting paid some nice money, you know. And then I fell, bro, a lot of teams are desperate for, you know, right tackles. And the thing is with this guy, he's, he's pretty damn young. He's 26 years old. So that's why I say he's got a lot of upside, a lot of potential, you know, to be a, a very solid right tackle for a team for years to come. This is going to be a guy that's going to probably get a four or five year um, contract from some team. And like I said, it, it will really just depend on how much the asking price is for him. Um, they did not have a market value for him. So like I said, it's kind of difficult to to estimate, you know, around how much money he's going to get. But I could definitely see him getting paid more than $10 million. If he does get offered more than $10 million, then I would rather... I'd rather not. We can get guys for cheaper that are almost as good as him. Like I said, um, we don't need like a Pro Bowl right tackle. I mean, if we could get one, that's awesome. But, you know, we mainly just need a guy that's going to go in there, be solid for a couple years. And we can always go in the draft to, you know, uh, at the tackle position to draft somebody, their future replacement at the end of the day. Um, his stats, his PFF grading is the highest out of the three guys. It's 74.2. He only allowed five sacks, and he only had one penalty, which that's huge, man, because we all know how this O-line, you know, struggled with penalties and penalties, you know, here and there throughout the season, and, you know, how many times did that kill drives? It really sucked, man, but yeah, Alex Kappa is definitely a name to keep your eye on. Now, the second name on this list is right tackle Morgan Moses. He plays on the New York Jets. Um, he's 30 years old, turning 31. I think this guy's probably the most likely to sign on this team because I think we, we most likely will be able to get him cheaper than Alex Kappa. And yeah, he's not, he's older than him. He might be a little bit, you know, not as not as good as Alex Kappa, but you know, I don't think the drop off is too big. Um, we're gonna pay a lot less for him. And yeah, this is a guy. This is guy is like I would say the definition of a solid right tackle, and that's really what we need. His stats last year. Um, he had a PFF grade of 71, so not that much lower than Alex Kappa's. 
And we're going to play, I'm pretty sure we'll play him a lot less than Alex Kappa. Um, he only gave up four sacks and three penalties all season. He played all games as well. So, you know, he's durable and that Jets team is pretty damn bad, man. So to only give up four sacks and a couple um, holding penalties, um, it's not that bad, honestly. Like I said, he, he could definitely come in here. I think he would be a huge upgrade over Brandon Parker. He'll go in there, you know, be solid. And a guy like this, though, I wouldn't want to sign him to a long contract because who knows how he's going to be in three, four years. Ideally, I'd do like a two-year deal. If we do like a three-year deal for him, maybe a two uh, after two years, a player option. That way, if um, he's, I mean, a team option, my bad. That way, if he's starting to decline, then we can just part ways with him. And then by that time, like I said, we could go in the draft, you know, draft a replacement tackle for him once he starts to slow down. Like I said, man, he's he's pretty solid. We could probably get him for around seven to eight million per year. A two-year deal, I, I'd be I'd be 100%, you know, willing to do that for his services. But like I said, guys, I think this guy is definitely a name that the Raiders need to keep their eye on to replace Brandon Parker. Now, the last person on this list is Jermaine Ifidi. I hope I said that name right. I hopefully I didn't butcher it, but um, he plays for the Chicago Bears right now and. He used to play for the Seattle Seahawks. The good thing about him is he, he still is kind of young too, 28 years old. I think out of all three of these guys, he could be the cheapest guy we could get because he's coming off a down season, which, you know, he only played nine games last year. So I definitely would be kind of spooked on that, man, because, you know, if we if we get him and he's injured like ha almost half the season next year, then, I mean... That's just a risk when you get a guy coming off an injury, especially an old lineman. Last season, he allowed two sacks, four penalties, and his PFF grading was 61, so the lowest of the three. And yeah, guys, out of those three options, this would be the least likely guy. It would be the guy that I would be least, you know, happy about if we sign. This is kind of a guy that we, we might have to just get if, like, we spend a lot of money on other positions and we're like, shit, bro, we... We still got to get a tackle. Well, let's just get this guy. He's We can get him relatively cheap. But yeah, guys, the fact that he only played nine games, man, I, I could definitely see this being like, you know, maybe we spent top money in the wide receiver department or maybe like a cornerback like J.C. Jackson. And maybe we don't have a whole lot of money to play with anymore, but we still got to address the tackle position and we get a guy like this. And maybe we get like a, we draft somebody. But like I said, I really don't want to go that route. I want to, ideally, I want to go into the draft already having our wide receiver and our right tackle, you know, positions filled. That way we can just mainly focus on the defense, you know, coming into the draft. But, you know, if we go in there and there's a nice wide receiver that falls to our laps, a nice, you know, running back, tackle, whatever the case may be, it's at a good value best player available sort of situation then yeah that's fine you know but like i said i want to go into the draft with these two positions filled like i said i i think most likely the raiders would probably get morgan moses he's solid we can get him at a decent price and he, we don't have to you know commit long term to him alex kappa i mean he's gonna i i would i would not be shocked if he gets a big contract um coming out of tampa bay but yeah, guys, those are the three main positions that I'm looking at in free agency, you know, in terms of the right tackle position. You guys let me know. Let me know down below what you guys think about these names I listed out. And out of the three, who do you guys ideally want, you know, to fill in the position at right tackle? It's definitely one of our biggest needs um, on offense. But I, like I said, man, if we can just get a right tackle, a wide receiver, I think this, this, especially if we get, you know, a good wide receiver one, this offense is basically set, man. Uh, because I think this O line is gonna improve, you know. I I have a lot of um, hope in Alex Leatherwood. He was getting better as the as the season progressed. He's still he's still super young, bro. It's his second year. Same situation with Andre James, man. He was getting a lot better. This was technically his rookie season, and John Simpson's the only guy that I'm I'm not too sold on. We could probably go. Um, Look at some of the available guards as well. Maybe go in the draft as well. But um, but he'll do, man. Especially if we can re-sign Denzel Good too. We can shift him in and out of the line whenever we need to. But um, 
But yeah, anyways guys, that's all I have for this video. If you guys are new to the channel though, make sure to subscribe down below. And like I said guys, comment down below what you guys thought about the names I listed. But with that being said guys, I am out.